It is time to declare our Ming with the Take Mandate of Heaven CB. It's all or nothing here. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where I play every nation in U4 and 1444 that has unique national ideas, but I do it in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we arrive in Australia for the first time, and we get to play with the nation of Eora. Eora is obviously a nation located in Australia. We are a tribal nation, and we have the same mechanics, just like these South American guys over here and the North American guys as well so you already know this campaign is gonna be extremely extremely painful we start off with a random guy of course we don't know anything about him we can't dev provinces we can't force spawn institutions we only have one province and we have to migrate around and our national ideas as yora are actually pretty good man they focus on some boat and army stuff mainly but we can't really take advantage of them because this nation sucks now like i said this is gonna be an extremely painful challenge man colonizers don't really come to australia in the time frame that i play a to z in and it's gonna be super super painful to do anything this is gonna be a try not to get bored challenge in australia extreme difficulty but what do we do as yora well i don't know man we can't fight colonizers because they can't come soon enough we can't go colonizing because we can't get boats so really the only thing that's pretty much left for us to do man is i don't know man let's just let's try and conquer all of australia to form australia before anyone else forms australia and for our secondary goal will be to I don't know, take the mandate of heaven from Ming or something like that? Dude, I'm dreading this campaign already, man. Uh, I hope you guys have fun watching, because I'm not going to have fun playing. And before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And boys, consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 100k subs before PDXCon at the beginning of September, or else I'm going to have to play U4 in Australia only for the rest of my life. Let's jump in as Yora. All right, all right, here we are as Yora. We spawned with this 345 guy, which is not actually half bad. And by this point, man, if you've seen the South American or North American episodes, you know what we need to do. Go through these reforms, get Miltech 6, become a horde, then become a monarchy, and start deving institutions and colonizing and stuff like that. Of course, we start out with only one province and everything else that we migrate to and then settled will be incorporated into our land once we finally reform into a horde. But in the meantime, man, it's just reforming and uh, fighting these these guys to take tribal land yeah man the first 50 years are rough to say the least i'll try not to make it boring for you guys but yeah let me start out by taking a decision here our first limit's five so let me get two more guys right here i am gonna get a general actually not have bad and let's get rid of these boats because we won't have them anyway when we move to this province over here. We can also take a cult. I'll take the construction discount and dev discount one for now. And I won't be hiring any advisors just yet. You know what the most painful part is? We got unique ideas with these guys, right? You are an ideas. These guys, they have unique ideas as well. So do these guys up here and these guys over here. So we're going to have to be back in Australia like three more times. But yeah, now I got my army and free company. Let's migrate to here and uh, settle that as well. As tribal land, we could take this mission. And let me go ahead and declare on these guys. Oh, wait. No, I don't have the CB yet. Now I do. So let's declare on these guys with the tribal border feud CB. And our first war is done. Let's take this as tribal land. Of course, these guys don't disappear. They just move away. But now this is ours as well. So really what we own is these three provinces right here. All right, let me go back here. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll move down to these guys and fight them. Yeah, let's go like right there and then right there and then uh, right there. Of course, I am going to add this to tribal land as well. And let's declare on these boys with the tribal border feud. And this war is done as well. Let's take that province too. And boom, we're done. So yeah, now all of this right here is ours, and I'm saving up money to get uh, this building specifically first. We need all the monthly reform progress growth modifiers. Now might be a good time to tell you boys that actually I already started this campaign earlier today, and I actually chose the wrong reform over here, and I had to restart. I already went through like 50 years. Pain. And there we go, I can build the first building, the ceremonial fire pit. This will help us out a lot. Now, I know some of you guys are thinking I should have gone for the achievement Australia-Hungary, where we need to form Australia and conquer Hungary, but that would take way too long, dude. I can't be bothered. <laughs> I can't be bothered! Playing in Australia be like... But yeah, now that we have that building, we also have like 50% advisor discount, which means I can hire uh, three advisors. So let's get this uh, force limit guy, bit efficiency, and uh, tax. You guys have been complaining that I stopped showing comets, so here's one. Alright, choose with these guys up here is done, so let's fight them and these guys once again. And we can piece these guys out by doing that. Awesome. 
And we can also piece these guys out for these two provinces. All right, this is everything that we're gonna own when we reform. Dude, there's a gold province here. Oh wait, there's a gold province here too. Of course, because we're native, we can't really make money off the gold, but <laughs> later we will. Finally, we reform, and we do need to take uh, oral tradition. Let's fight these fellers now, and we'll also end up fighting these guys because they're in, uh, you know, whatever it's called, a uh, federation. All right, I took L's and battles just now, but this war is done. Let's piece these guys out for uh, that, and let's piece these guys out for all of Tasmania, apparently. Nice tribal land growth. Now we can get a new building too, which is gonna be once again the monthly reform progress one, but the other one. New war time, let's fight green fellers. And we're gonna piece out these northern guys. What's this? Whatever. And now I'm gonna piece out the southern guys. I know it's not very satisfying to take stuff, but not actually take it. But bear with me here, boys. <laughs> uh, let me migrate. You know, just hearing this uh, month tick cash making sound for like an hour straight, it does things to a man. Okay, truce with uh, Camilla Roy here is up. Ooh, we're gonna fight a bunch of boys, aren't we? Let's get it, baby. And this war is done as well. I did take this from the green guys, and I think uh, that from these guys. I couldn't take this province for some reason. I don't know why. It doesn't matter, but what we're gonna do here is that. All right, we're looking pretty big, man. Not bad. We could also take our third government reform, which is gonna be uh, seasonal travel. Last time I made the mistake of taking this one, thinking I was gonna reform, but we can't really take this one since we won't have colonizers coming to us quickly. So that's why I gotta go the horde route. Let's declare on these boys here and try and take their two provinces along with this one, which I couldn't take last time for some reason. And this quick and easy war is done as well. Once again, I couldn't take Palawa for some reason, and I couldn't take this one either, so I ended up only gaining this province right here from this war. Uh, should I migrate? Yeah, let's move here, I guess. I swear, bro, next time we play one of these guys, I'm just gonna do some console stuff again and move us to, you know... I don't know, Europe or Asia or Africa or anything, man, uh, except for this. This is the only thing I've literally been doing for the past four years, just waiting around, and then when a truce expires, I fight these guys, take some tribal land, and then you just do this. You can't dev, you can't really build buildings, no real diplomacy, right? Can I ally someone? I can't ally with these guys, but what's the point, dude? Send gift, issue, embargo, like, yeah... At least, you know, in North America, it was fun because there were so many of these guys. And in South America, it was also fun because we just started out with natives. But uh, here, man, in Australia, no one's coming over here, boys. <laughs> All right, looks like these guys over here finally got sick of what I was doing to them. And they've actually formed a pretty strong coalition. Uh, I can't be 35k. So I guess that's enough expanding <laughs> until we become a horde and fully reform, man. But uh, yeah, smart play from these boys, man. These guys are fart smeller. I mean, smart fellers. In the meantime, I've allied uh, these guys up here and I've joined these guys as federation just so, you know, this federation right here doesn't try and pull anything. <laughs> it's time for a tier 4 government reform. This one doesn't matter too much. I'll just take this, uh, uh, the diplo rep one, I guess. This one doesn't do anything. We don't have rebels. But yeah, we're almost at the tier 5 reform, man. Well, almost. We still need 250, which is in about, uh, 244 months, but uh, let's not get bogged down with that. And uh, yeah, we do need to get the Miltech 6, which I guess, of course, we will do. I only need to hear this sound for 240 more times before we reform into a horde. Uh, well, so far I'm failing the try not to get bored challenge. Why would anyone play here? Aside from the fact if you have to do a challenge where you play every uh, nation in 1444 with unique national ideas, coincidentally in alphabetical order, coincidentally what I'm doing right now, you know, when ordering food and uh, looking at your driver on the map is more interesting than playing the game, <laughs> I think uh, I think that's uh, when you realize playing in Australia for the first, well, I would say about 60 years isn't that fun, man. It isn't that fun. <laughs> And uh, at this point, I wish I could just reveal the map and see what, like, the um, I mean, the European guys are up to, I guess, or I don't know. No, funnily enough, I did reach Admin Tech 5, and uh, oh, we can actually get new units. Amazing. Uh, I did reach Admin Tech 5. We can take our first idea group. Of course, our secondary objective is to take the Mandate of Heaven from Ming. So let's open up with exploration, even though we can't really do anything with it. I at least we'll get it done by the time we can use it, right? Ah, more than halfway there. Why is this guy Chief Warren hashtag zero? <laughs> what the? What's this? 
I hope you boys appreciate me suffering through this fun gameplay for your entertainment. So drop a sub. <laughs> All right, there's Multex 6. Now we just need to wait for this. 90 more months, by the way. Finally, we can reform into a horde. The Great Plains call to us. Boom. And there we go. We just got everything. That was our tribal land. Excellent. I like that. Let's take Martial Society, the tribal version of Strength and Noble Privileges. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's go for uh, lip service right here. Over here, we're going to go with the CCR, and uh, I actually am going to reform into a monarchy immediately. And now we can take Autocracy, and soon we'll be strengthening Noble Proleges. But now the boring part of the game is over, boys. Let's uh, take that, whatever it is. Time to state up everything that we own so that we become super, super powerful. And we're able to take down this federation that's been looming over our head for the past 50 years. And uh, now we should be able to dev, man. Please let me see. Can we dev? Yes. Yes, we can dev. Alrighty then. Encourage dev. We are in the gold province too. So let's bump that up immediately. I'm going to use all my points on that. And we should be getting feudalism here pretty soon. There we go. We have it. Nice. Let's embrace feudalism. And then we'll spawn the renaissance and everything else. New mission. Thank you. But now it's time to prepare to fight all of these guys. Ah, estate stuff. All right, boys, I got my army up and running, and I did get the independent army as well. Our force limit is pretty big, and we are still making money because of gold, remember? We also have another gold province, or we don't? Well, we'll get one. But it's time to show these idiots who's boss, man. We're going to fight all of these guys, including that guy too. 52k troops, they're going to be no match for us. We are two to three miltex ahead of all these guys here. Let's get it, baby. Time for you guys to leave the map. All right, we can kick these guys out. We're actually doing really well in this war. I wiped them so many times. Let's try and kick these guys out as well. That's not possible. What about these guys? That is possible. Awesome. These guys too, apparently. We do have a colonist, so I can just colonize everything we don't have. Now I am seeing a problem here. These people can walk around all over my country. We need to create a choke point up here. Oh, we got some new cults too. Uh, what do we take here? Maybe this? And that's the last of everyone I was fighting done. All right, we pretty much have all of uh, Eastern Australia, except for these guys, which I have a truce with, but we'll take care of them later. It's time to move on to the other guys over here. We can actually get boats now, so let me build uh, three lights so we can start exploring and stuff. And I'm already deving uh, the Renaissance over here. All right, we got the lights and an explorer. Let's finally explore a bit. Oh, we're about to learn about the world. It's time for fun with rebels. Well, Ming is blowing up, which is good for us, right? We're supposed to steal the mandate from them? <laughs> Alright, bro, I gotta keep expanding. Let's uh, take these guys out, huh? Let's fight these other boys, too. What? What's this? What's the province called? Wulgur Ukarba. Right, right. Ah, victory. Hey, it's time to strengthen noble villages. Ah, another victory. Easy. And boys, I've seen so many posts on Reddit, man, like it's 1600 and I'm Australia. What do I do? And they literally own all of Australia, but can't see anything else. I mean, I guess they've taken, uh, you know, the settle down reform. But this is how you do it, man. You got to become a horde. And honestly, you can stay as a horde if you want to. But then once you actually become a horde, you can spawn the institutions that debt for them and stuff. You don't have to wait a colonizer to arrive. And then you just go and beat these guys up. And uh, you can move on to Indonesia and stuff like that for a really fun game. But yeah, the first six years are really a pain, man. But after that, it's smooth sailing. It's already time for a second idea group. And uh, can I take expansion? Does any of them give us boat stuff? I think exploration does have boat stuff. Yeah, naval force limit, right? So yeah, I'm gonna go with expansion here. Don't mind me, just continuing my conquest of Australia before we take on Ming. Yes, let's get it. All right, this is the furthest province we can colonize. So I am gonna send a colonist there. And I'll also attack these fellers right here. We can become a kingdom. Yes. And we can wipe these guys out. Ah, I have a second colonist. Uh, where do we send them? I guess we can go here now since I got Diplotech 7. And these guys are done as well. Nice. Now we will need to start building boats here. And I just took out new burger loans. So obviously we can get to Ming. And what my plan is here, boys, is to actually buy a charter company from one of these guys over here. So I can uh, maybe buy it from Chi, right? Because they're an independent nation. Where is it? A uh, charter company right there. So I have loans and I need more money. Basically, I need to have money. And once I get more colonial range, of course, once these provinces have finished colonizing. So with that, I can just get a province right next to Ming. And uh, that might give me the CB, you know, to take the mandate of heaven. Meanwhile, though, I'm going to fight these guys down here. 
And these guys up here. And these guys are done. And so are these guys. New mission? Dominate trade. And let me actually finish these boys off as well. And this quick and easy war is done too. I wonder why sometimes I get this and sometimes I don't. I don't really know what's the difference. I guess we'll have to colonize these two. So I've been looking around and it looks like I actually can't, uh, I can't get a, you know, charter company going. Uh, not sure why. Maybe because we're Australian? Hmm. Got a little galley spam going here. Maybe it's gonna help us with Ming, maybe not. I would support these guys as independents because they don't like Ming, but they, they literally don't know about me, so I can't. And ladies and gentlemen, let's finish off the final nation that's located in Australia and accomplish our primary goal of owning all of Australia. Let's get it. We can also take a tier 3 gov reform, which is going to be centralized bureaucracy. Pretty late, huh? Well, I guess, you know, we had to go through the native reforms, then the horde reforms, then the monarchy reforms. And let's accomplish our first goal by owning all of Australia. Ah, I love it. You know, there is no unified Australia tax for these guys over here. Uh, I think it's just for colonial nations or something like that. So, uh, yeah, we've pretty much unified Australia. Well, not pretty much. We, we actually have. Come on. All right, now I just provoked some revolts. So let's fight off all these rebels uh, before we can go and fight Ming and Qi. And as far as I know, I think the take mandate of heaven CB should be available to us. Because we're a pagan religion, I think. Um, I don't know. I know it's for sure available for uh, Eastern religions, but not sure which. Not sure how you get it. I guess we'll uh, have to find out. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to no CB Chi rate here. They are guaranteed by Shun, which is pretty big. But I think I'll be able to occupy stuff over here and, uh, you know, peace out for just one province, which is the only thing I want. Just this province right here, perhaps, just so I can border Ming. And then we should get the CB. Let's hope this works. If not, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just wait until Shun gets tired. Let's see. So uh, no CB on Chi right there. And there we go. Let's take our army over there. All right, the landing's successful. I'm also gonna bomb their fort. I took their capital. Now I'm gonna bomb Beijing as well, which is owned by Shun. So I did take Beijing, but I did get beat up and I've retreated back to my boats to recover. But uh, we actually can peace out Shun right here. Uh, maybe even get warps from them? Oh yeah, nice. All we had to do was take Beijing and uh, blockade a couple of provinces, I guess. And I think we're done with these guys too. Let's see, since I only want that. Oh yeah, we're golden, baby. We're golden. I wonder if I'll get the CB now. Let's see. And yes, it is true. I did get it. There's the take the mandate of having CB. Now, Ming, they got about 150k troops together with their boys and their allies. However, their boys, Yu and Wu, are 100% disloyal. And I can only assume that Dali is as well. And yeah, so that means uh, I shouldn't count the troops from their vassals. Only Ming's troops, which is still 56k. But, I don't know, how much war score do we need to take the Mandate of Heaven? Their capital is right here. So yeah, let me chill a bit and try and buff up even more? You know, I started out this campaign with uh, boredom in mind, and I was like, okay, w we're probably gonna get to conquer all of Australia, right? But there's no way I'm gonna be able to take the Mandate from Ming, dude. I thought for sure this was gonna be like a failure after so long, but, uh, boys. I'm actually starting to believe. Are you starting to believe as well? Please believe. I actually have a conquistador in charge of this army, so I can, I guess, walk here? I don't know, maybe we can discover some stuff? Ah, uh, actually, I can't. As soon as they try to go to a province, uh, they, uh, they get rejected and turn back. Their mandate is zero, which is awesome. All right, boys, this is scored up. I've taken out massive loans, buffed up my army, and hired the Grand Company and the Free Company as well. Now, wait a minute. I think I'm gonna go bankrupt like this. Huh, 56 loans. We already have eight. We can't sustain that Grand Company for very long. But, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to declare our Ming with the Take Mandate of Heaven CB. Let's try and accomplish our secondary goal. The more difficult one. Now, I do have naval superiority easily here. I can uh, artillery barrage their capital fort once again. And of course, I am relying on the fact that Dali, Yu, and Wu wouldn't help out. Now, Korea would probably come in and uh, Ming should bring in their armies too. So let's see what we can do here. All right, so to take the Mandate of Heaven, I need 50% uh, war score. Holding their capital until the end would be 25, of course, maxed out. So uh, we do have to do some more stuff here. Uh, remember how I said I easily have naval superiority? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Right, I took Nanjing as well, and they did just have an army right here. Where did it move, man? Did it go here? Let's try and find it. A 20k stack. Right, I uh, I forgot about the easy stack wipes when they're at zero mandate. Oh, we should also take that. Right, and I forgot about the non-easy stack wipes, which aren't stack wipes, they're losses, when I don't fight Ming themselves. 
No, no, wait, I got stack wiped. No! Oh. What now? Should I uh, merc up again? All right, let's do it, baby. It's all or nothing here. Ugh. Nope, this is an L. Let's uh, take war reps and try again later. <laughs> well, I didn't expect a reconquest from Chi. I'm coming back, Chi. This was a bad decision. <laughs> Big mistake from Chi right here. Big mistake. I might as well roll a bunch of generals here to get professionalism so I can slack in for, uh, you know, manpower. All right, time to try the same thing again, <laughs> but, but hope that this time it works. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna stand on Yangju and Nanjing this time. Now, if I could somehow peace out Korea here, man, it would be so easy. I did manage to avoid the Korean army and get uh, two dubs versus Ming. Actually, dude, um, we're really close to taking the mandate. I guess Ming gets tired pretty quickly. Yeah, Ming is already alone. Funnily enough, Korea's on medium too. Uh, these guys that really don't care about Ming, they're fine. But uh, maybe if I can get back Hangzhou again, we'll be able to peace out. We've just been swapping between occupying and unoccupying these two provinces. Okay, so I occupied Hangzhou and just got a major dub over here versus a unified army. So let's see. <gasps> Boys! We can actually take the Mandate of Heaven from Ming! Yes, this is gonna be an accomplishment of our goal. <gasps> oh my god. Celestial Empire, Eora everyone! And bankruptcy is looming. Ah, <laughs> uh, and there we go. Uh, did we just go bankrupt or no? What's, what's going on? What's going on? Alright, chill. But yeah, boys, let's end it right there before we get any of the disasters that the uh, Emperor of China can get. And before we go bankrupt, uh, let's go lower army maintenance. Uh, well, I didn't want to delete my main army, but uh, yeah, we're still losing so much money, man. Is this campaign salvageable uh, with being the Emperor of China? Probably not, man. But yeah, there you go, man. We started off as the tiny one province native nation of Eora in this province right here. And by slowly fighting our neighbors, which seems like ages ago and not actually taking any stuff, we actually wanted to reform all the way to a horde. So then we could flip to a monarchy so to get actual land and to dev institutions. Of course, I did force spawn feudalism and the Renaissance and colonialism. By now, the printing press has probably already spawned. Yes, of course it has. But we did manage to accomplish our primary goal of owning all of Australia, and uh, very, very surprisingly, we also managed to accomplish our secondary goal of becoming the Emperor of China and taking the Mandate of Heaven, but barely, because we were about to collapse, probably in about two more years into that war, man, we couldn't have done it, but by just carefully occupying these three provinces and uh, unoccupying them and occupying them and trying to catch some Ming armies off guard, we were actually able to defeat Ming and take the Mandate of Heaven. Overall, a very, very boring campaign in the first 60 years of course as always with these natives and in the future when we play these native nations again I honestly might just skip the boring stuff for you boys and start in like 1510 not record any of the early game because let's face it we've already seen it hundreds of times with the natives in South America and in Australia too but after that man after we stopped being a native nation it was super super fun and uh I'm actually sort of glad that we've played in Australia but Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Eora in A to Z has surprisingly been a success. And that has been Eora in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Red Hawk Live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more challenges like this or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.